Happy weekend, oil traders. It is September 24th. It's 1.10 p.m. We're still quite a few hours away from the Asian market open. And of course, uh, markets here won't open until tomorrow on uh, Monday at 9.30. But I thought we'd take a look back at the week previous, uh, September 18th to the 22nd, 2017. Um, for me, it was, uh, well, more frustration, more waiting, uh, more short buying, for better or worse. Um, and uh, going into the week, I was not aware that there was an OPEC meeting coming up. Um, I learned a little bit later, um, kind of when I saw the price really stagnate um, within a very, very narrow range, I kind of went looking as to why that was happening. And then I came across the fact that OPEC was meeting on Friday. Um, so uh, when we topped out, uh, when we first uh, made a push towards 51, um, which we ultimately did crack through earlier in the week. Uh, so if I flip over to this seven day chart here, um, we can see here that we topped um, up above 51 on the 20th, uh, which was Wednesday, Newsday. Um, and it was also the day that I bought my first short of the week at 5080, which looked to be the, um, the resistance level. Um, it was good enough for me. It was, um, it was below 51. So my rationalization was that if we don't make it to 51, if we don't crack through 51, um, then 5080 is pretty good. Um, so I bought short there. Of course, moments later, we <laughs> made it through 51, um, but then we did retreat back down below. Um, when we fell, um, the lows that you see here um, at uh, 5010, <clears throat> excuse me, that actually happened before markets opened here in North America. And I never got the opportunity to sell at these prices. Um, we opened closer to 5040, I think, um, which was really not good enough, in my opinion, to get out of my shorts. So I waited to see if we would um, retrace back to the lows from um, Asian, Mark, Asian and European trading, um, which we never did, of course. Um, so I held on. Then um, on Friday, as or Thursday, I should say, as we made another push up, um, and we experienced so much resistance at this level here. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think I basically let my emotions get the best of me, and I doubled down, so to speak, and added to my short positions at a crude price of about fifty sixty two. Um, you know, my, my rationalization was that I had a short at 50.30, I have a short at 50.80, so this was, you know, it, it was looking to be a resistance level and it was somewhere in between those two shorts. So anyway, that was kind of how I explained it to myself that it was okay. But in retrospect, I do sort of regret doing it. Um, mostly because I just let my emotions get the best of me and it's not, it doesn't really conform to my strategy. Um, so I kind of wish I hadn't done it. If I had an opportunity to get out of it with even a modest profit on Friday, I would have, but that was not meant to be since we closed right about where I bought. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. Um, as far as the outcome of the OPEC meeting, basically they said compliance is up. So meaning good, um, what that will mean for the crude price on, uh, Today at 6 p.m. when uh, Asian markets open and tomorrow um, when North American markets open at 9.30. Your guess is as good as mine. The interpretation can de deceive me, surprise me sometimes. So whether traders feel that this is positive or negative is yet to be determined. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, of course, hoping that we do retrace back down. Um, Below 50 would be very nice. I'd be able to exit uh, a couple of short positions and get into a long hedge position, uh, which has been my strategy all this week, which I never really got to execute because we just never got low enough. Um, if we do end up popping back up above 51, um, I will be looking to exit my long-term hold uh, of a 52 long position. And I'm willing to take a loss, but I'll probably be selling half of that. But it, it sort of depends on how high we do end up going. Um, but I am kind of mentally already prepared to take a loss on that position uh, simply because I don't think our top end is much higher than where we are right now. Um, what do you guys think? Hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or check me out on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades, charts, and of course that long-term long position that I've been holding for 
155 plus days. Um, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading markets open here at 9.30 a.m. Eastern on the East Coast in North America. Until then, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and uh, good luck. Cheers.